Lots of energy is transmuting right now. Lots of light coming up. Just breathe into it. Next deep breath, we're going to connect and drop our core down into and with Gaia. Feel that beautiful violet light going all the way down, showering around us, connecting at our base and dropping down in with Gaia. Just feel it going all the way down. See yourself from the outside perspective. Feel your energy traveling down into Gaia, connecting with her at every level. As that cord is going down, we're going to release and shoot our light up through our crown chakra, all the way up, connecting with Mother, Father, God, source energy now. Beacon of light through and through this full moon tonight. Thank you one and all divine beings for being here incarnate and otherwise. Connecting again with the Stargate known as Lion's Gate, still active from 882019. Connecting with Giza, connecting with Sirius, connecting with the Galactic Center. Connecting. Activate. Merkabas are spinning. Deep breath, don't lock it down, transmuting, activating. Crystalline DNA is activating, feel it in your heart chakra, radiating it out. Activating and connecting once again, Stargate. Amplifying with the full moon energy. Feel it through and through, connecting all the way down, connecting once again, feeling the core dropping down into Gaia, all the way down into her center, connecting with Gaia. Connect, activating. For those of you who have been with us in healing sessions, connected with Gaia, with all of your chakras in this way. Feel that presence again. Re-energizing those anchors with Gaia. Others, connect with Gaia. Feel her holding on to your cord, accepting. Holding on and anchoring with your cord of light. Infusing with her energy, Mother Gaia speaks. Hello, dear ones, this is Gaia. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for connecting with me. I hold on to your divine cords of light, anchoring with my energy. We are all transmuting. We are still in Stargate. Thank you for being here and working with us, receiving our messages that we have sent to you today. Please know, dear one, anchoring further with me at my core today. further solidifying our divine connection, your remembrances, and how you've been connected with me in past lives, remembering those important pieces of information, knowledge, wisdom that you gained in these past lives, further opening up the channel to your soul as well as you are here in this beautiful space with me and my energy. Connecting with me always in this way, in I with you. Infusing her energy, the balance, 
of her energetic body. Feel her holding on. Taking your divine energy, planting it within the grid system at the core. Observe, watch, see how she takes your divine energy, integrating it, charging it with her own. Bringing it up once again to connect with you at your cord, infusing it, and sending it back up to you in your physical body. Sending it up to you now. Dear ones, please know we are working with the abundance matrix now more than ever. Your energy anchored with me, infused with mine. Your divine energy working with me in this way, being a witness to this work in this way, offering your divine living energy in this way at this time, in this divine, divine now moment. And in the future, for those of you who join us, we feel your energy in this present moment. Further solidifying, energizing, and anchoring with the abundance matrix as it was meant to be upon Gaia. The abundance matrix is creational energy, is creation. That is at her core, what Gaia is, never ending, beautiful creation, always and forever. We with her have been here time and time again. And we will be here again. Feeling into the energies this infinite relationship, visiting and revisiting, working time after time with our great mother and with mother, father, God. Each time setting the foundation for the next time. But this time, as we're energizing and working with her, as we connect with our divine counterparts, as we infuse this beautiful energy that she is sending back up to us and bring it into our physical body, activating more of our spiritual body, becoming more in tune and more alignment with our soul selves and with each other and with Gaia and with all of creation. Now is like no other time. So very many connections to be made. And this is how it is done. Energetically, intentionally, with love, with guidance. With those like Gaia and Jesus and Michael and me, Gabriel, here to help to make this happen for us all. Feel the energy coming back from Gaia, supercharged now with her energy. Mm. 
easy breathing out these family as this energy starts to permeate through into your field coming up further 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 into the cord that we drop down into Gaia nice and easy acceptance with the supercharged energy of Gaia balanced we think about our energy systems from red to violet maximum output of 10 we have now maximum output of 100 supercharging this energy red brighter than ever orange brighter than ever yellow brighter than ever green brighter than ever blue brighter than ever indigo brighter than ever and violet brighter than ever our entire system brighter than ever activating further solidifying with the Merkaba spinning activating with them sending up and going up and through to our crown chakras activating further and transmuting dmt into our third eye feeling it release now Breathe into that, please, family, and send it up through your crown chakra, going all the way up, all the way up. Visualize it, see it happening. You are an anchor, you are a cord, you are a divine pillar of light, connected with Gaia, connected with your soul, connected with Mother, Father, God, and all of creation and with each other, sending out the vibrations for your divine counterparts incarnate to meet with you in the divine now and right moments that it should be and when it will be. Here on a mission of love and peace. To meet, to work together in mission, in love, sending out these vibrations peace, harmony, love, unity, connectedness, oneness, infinitely. We are meant to be together, all of us, and feel that. Put your Thoughts on that beautiful, big, full moon, amplifying these energies. We're in a place and time like never before, family. Taking in the energies from millennia ago, when we sat together under the full moon in the center of the 8-8 gate, thinking ahead millennia when we would be together again, working together. The convergence portal is a connection, a line of light and energy from the past to the present. So we may remember who we were millennia ago when we were working here back then and who we are now. We have powerful understandings and knowledge locked away. We are awakening to them yet again now. Feel the truth in that, accept it. The knowledge, the keys unlocking the doors of the past, of the present, and of the future coming together, converging, dropping unnecessary timelines in the lower density realities, rising up to the future in higher dimensions where we belong, taking all of humanity and Gaia with us as she rises us together with her one and all and all in one soul family
these known dear ones, many of you, shortly, in your near futures, will find that you are in timelines that are taking you to places you never thought you would go, physically and otherwise. Know that so many amazing experiences, possibilities for the future are being written now. You sending out your energy to the highest possible branches and timelines that are afforded to you is what you are doing now, solidifying more and deeper, strengthening your foundation with the abundance matrix, becoming more creational, receiving abilities to create gifts, coming together to create with each other things that you could not create alone. Part of the plan always. You will see these timelines, these branches in time, these people and experiences, situations starting to take form. Remember, stay out of your way. Go with the flow, be guided, do not hold back. Manage your frequency, master it. Feel into the energy all the way through and through. Take note and pay attention to any of these symbols that you've been getting. At this point, we are in a practice of remembrance, always. Take yourself into your vehicle. You are in a caravan now, driving in the desert. It is dark out, but so bright. The moon is out and up and full and lit up in the sky. Yet, you can see so many stars. driving in a caravan, many cars, trucks, RVs, trailers, we're in a caravan, driving through the desert and it is nighttime. Everyone is happy and joyful. We're on a mission, we're together, and the moon is high and bright in the sky. We are all connected and together. We all are looking up as we're driving in the caravan. It's a beautiful moon in the sky. All the beautiful stars. And we see the lights ahead of us turning red. Cars are stopping. Parking, people are getting out of their cars, turning off their lights. We are in the desert and the weather is perfect. It's not too cold, it's not too hot. There's a nice, beautiful breeze going. The air is beautiful. We 
you can see that. The stars and the sky, so bright. So many of them, regardless of how big and bright the moon is, we are in the middle of the desert. We look out to hills and mountains, flatlands, plant life of the desert. And we all come around in a great big circle. And there are about a hundred of us. And we have things of light, poi and other beautiful things of light, not too bright. We do not light a fire. We get in a circle. There are drums. And we start to feel and hear the beat of the drums. And we sit in the circle, we connect with each other, we feel Gaia, we feel the vastness of the desert. But we can also feel the water deep below. We can see the stars, feel the moonlight shining down charging us big beautiful moon charging us activating us beat of the drums some of us compelled to stand up and dance sway, chant, sing. Pulling in the energies from Gaia, from our galactic brothers and sisters feeling the energy of our vast, infinite spirit tribe all around us, with us, dancing, swaying, singing. All of our energy there in the space. As each of us light up Light up with the energies, sending that energy collectively up into the night sky there in the desert. Sending out a shockwave of healing love light to be felt throughout Gaia. Every single divine living being upon Gaia, feeling the energy of this collective tribe together, celebrating love and light, all of us together on a mission. Working with Gaia and her beautiful moon, working with our divine counterparts, feeling the energies of the fae all around us, the dragons in the sky, 
in the connectedness that we have to our cosmic galactic brothers and sisters. Through space and time, we are them and they are us and we are all one. We send out our soul song to our reflections. They will hear and feel our call, our soul song, and they will join us. They will awaken. They will remember. They will be the light warriors they were meant to be with us in unity. We are here for them. We are here for each other. Our divine counterparts are always here and always with us. Remember, ask and you shall receive. Thank <laughs> you.